Good morning, folks. In case you didn't catch it last night, we've got space weather. We'll be going over the strong flare event, the CME forecast, what's expected over the next few days, some eye candy, and a science controversy that is brewing. But let's begin with the last 24 hours on our star, where the eruptive activity has obviously continued. Dead center on the south, an M9.8 solar flare, almost X-class, erupted from the sunspots on the south at how the delta-class magnetic fields, and ejected a CME into space. We'll go ahead and take some closer looks at the event, zoomed in here on the sunspot group and active region in 171 angstroms. We see the flare event and the shock-driven activity of the plasma in the nearby corona. The sunspot is slightly less complex this morning, and still is in development, so we'll have to keep monitoring it today. We'll also be watching the flare register here in 131 angstroms. The bright flash down there is the extreme ultraviolet and x-ray signature of the flare. If you recall, we already had two CME events on their way to Earth. NOAA has them both on their endless spiral with impacts slated for each of the next two days. On top of that, we must add the CME from yesterday's strong flare event, which you can see did a wild working of the corona as it blasted out the plasma. SOHO coronagraphs are now fully updated, and indeed we see a full halo eruption. This blast, the one yesterday, is heading directly for Earth, so that makes a third component of the space weather impacts we expect. But the speed of the last CME is such that it will likely overtake the second one, meaning we may only have two distinct impacts. Initial forecast is for impact of the last event on December 1st as well. We should expect geomagnetic storm activity on December 1st and 2nd with strong storm possibilities and a slight chance of major or severe solar storm development. We are still monitoring that active region and a few plasma filaments for more eruptive activity and of course, the massive coronal hole is incoming on the south, expected not only to raise the earthquake potential due to magnetic interaction, but deliver fast solar wind over the weekend. Eyes open. Let's get a bit of eye candy up next. Bottom of the screen shows the jets emanating from a baby star in the Perseus region. This James Webb shot is the most detailed of the protostellar activity in that area ever taken. It's an angry little guy. Top science article today is this. I'm sure you heard about the pyramid that is more than 20,000 years old in Indonesia. Well, that doesn't fit their preferred narrative, so the scientists are on the attack. Their primary complaint is that evidence in the region from 11,000 years ago shows cave lifestyle and no evidence of the advancements they would have had if indeed they constructed a pyramid there thousands of years earlier. The problem with that is they ignore the devastation of the last Earth disaster cycle 12,000 years ago. That would have wiped out and reset the civilization completely, kind of like what's going to happen in the next 25 years, and it would then match the other evidence from around the world. Doubt they'll give this one up without a fight. Don't forget, January 13th is our Arizona event. We'll be at the Scottsdale Sound Sanctuary north of Phoenix for a longer, in-depth event with special guests. We greatly appreciate your support. Grab your tickets to that January event at the link below. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.